right, Lori. Uh, first, we have to hear about the lightning incident. Walk us through that day and that experience. Uh, well, Nick, thanks for having me on. It was a, it was quite a long time. It was a uh, back in 2001. Um, I was driving uh, down a highway down in southern Arizona, and I saw a car parked on the side of the highway, on the side of the road, just over a bridge, but there was nobody in it. And what scared me was that there was nobody in it and the keys were just left in the vehicle and it was running. So I went to go check it out. There were a couple of people with me in my car, but when I went to look at the vehicle, um, there was nobody and I was getting worried. So I started looking around, started you know, trying to make some calls, what's going on? Where is the person in this vehicle? Is, were they abducted by aliens or what? So um, after, a, after about two minutes, I was I started getting worried, and before I realized it, the water, a couple of raindrops hit, and then all of a sudden this purple light just surrounded me, and I just mm. remember feeling this horrible. Um, I made I just remember this making this noise of like just being all of my muscles constricting my body, making this disgusting noise, oh and then it was over, and the flash was over, and I just remember thinking that was close, <laughs> um, and. Later on, the guy came back. It turned out he was um, taking care of business under the bridge. Oh, gosh. And he, next thing I remember, he was there, uh, scurried me back to, to my car. And the people that were in my car, which didn't come out, uh, they, were, they were telling me that they saw what happened. And then I get struck by lightning. So, so you, uh, didn't know, was... you didn't know what had happened until they said we saw it happen to you. Exactly. Wow. Yeah, I, I didn't know. I just remember feeling the electricity charging through my body. And then after about a minute, I... I, I don't remember anything for about a minute mm. coming to this guy's on top of me screaming because now it's pouring rain and I'm looking down at my body and these like balloon water balloon types of drops and are now just pelting me. And, and I, I just wow. knew that I had to get out of there because we're on a highway. The guy's there. So everything's fine. Not until a few minutes later when the soreness started to set in, did I start thinking, Maybe I need to get this checked out. Well, I mean, a miracle that you're still here with us, and we're all grateful for that. I know yourself included. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm told at this point you were not actually a storm chaser, but you wanted to. How did getting struck Correct. by lightning impact or impact, I guess, your continued um, adventure here? <laughs> well, I mean, the, the, the best part about Arizona and the southwest is the, the North American monsoon. From I've lived in the desert all my life. And the best part of the desert is, you know, this is a dry, parched land, and it's brutal. It, it's unforgiving. But when those storms come in, you know, I take pause. I've always just d desired to chase the weather. And so for, finally, when I became a photographer in, in about 2015, when I realized I could not only point the cameras at people, but I could point it at the sky and capture these extraordinary images. So that began as, that really began my chasing career. I mean, some of these images that we're seeing are unlike anything I've ever seen, and I've been in the I've been in the business for 15 years. How, how do you get such beautiful imagery? I mean, some of these colors and, and things that we're seeing are just unreal. Well, a lot of times you got to kind of like like you see in the microburst shot right there. Yeah. You kind of got to get up close and personal to some of the storms, and so you really got to do your homework. I've been studying. I've, I'm not a meteorologist. I wanted to be a tornado chaser when I was in high school. Life takes a turn, you know, and things happen. So now that I'm a photographer, I'm, I'm just studying everything I can and just getting after it. So it's, it's such a passion to be able to capture that. And when that sky turns orange and gold and purple mm -hmm. and pink, there's nothing like it. Just ask any, anyone in the desert southwest where the monsoons happen, especially at sunset, and they'll tell you the exact same thing. Mm. But I get to do this as part of my passion now.